Greetings, food surfers. It's Eric Surf Six. Welcome to the Mealtime Show. And right behind me here is the local gourmet selection. It's an unmanned, no staff vending machine room. It's an honor system. Let's go check it out. All kinds of goodies here, huh? Bunch of different company brands being represented here, and it's looks like a bunch of freezers full of food. Let's go have a look. Yeah. A coin changer, a bill changer, changes into coins if you need it. And you add up the prices of this stuff here. You can use the pad if you want or the calculator, and this is where you put your money. Yep. Right into the slot there. So yeah, strictly on our system. It's open 24 hours a day with 24 hour surveillance from somewhere. Ooh, they got the gyoza dumplings. What do we have here? Desserts. Oh my gosh, a whole freezer full of desserts. And then here's pictures of the items with the prices on them. Okay, looking good. Oh my gosh, so many choices. Where's the beef? Here's the beef right here. Different cuts of meat. Beef tongue, oh yeah, I love that. Looks like they've got some Indian chicken. What is that? Tandoori chicken maybe? Yakiniku, different types of barbecue. They got the hormone, the innards. Different types of the gyoza dumplings. Okay. These are ramens here, different types of ramen, packs of ramen. Pretty good size. There's a freezer over here. This is for, what is that? Oh, restocking. All right, let's get started right here with the ramen. <laughs> Gotta do ramen. I'm, I've kind of been on a ramen kick lately. That one with the meat. It looks good. It's this one. For a thousand yen, that looks pretty killer. Let's get that. Oh uh, yeah, help yourself. And the gyoza dumplings right here. A couple different types. You got 30 of them for 1,200 yen. You get 25 over here for a thousand. Let's do this pack. Okay. So so far we're at 2,000 yen. Yep, a thousand there, a thousand there, okay. Okay, so that's 2,000 yen. And, oh, there's more gyozas here. Well, I've already chosen. Definitely want to do the beef tongue. That just looks amazing. You get two types, the shio, the salt, and the tare, the sauce, 100 grams of each. Okay, this is 1,400 yen. A little less than 10 bucks. And then, what is that? Some ground beef there for burgers. Oh, it's a hamburger in a soup curry. Hamburger and soup curry? You try it? Let's try it for 1100. Sure, why not? Something different. Okay, and maybe the hormones as well, too. Gotta do some hormones, something exotic. All right. Oh yeah, the chef loves this stuff. For 900. Okay, got that. Oh boy, we're going big here. Sorry, go big or go home. Okay. And a dessert, gotta get a dessert. Got full on cakes here. I like these little ones. This one you get, this looks like a Japanese kind of, what is that, manji? It's, it's a sweet potato. I've done these before, the canned cakes. Okay, so we'll do one of those for 500. And should we do one of these too? Uh, eh. It's Cold Stone. I guess we should try Cold Stone, huh? on the strawberry. Mega likes strawberry. We'll do that. All right, let's add it all up. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got 1,000, 
2,000. That's 2,400. The desserts, 500, 3,400. And these two, 3,400. How much was this? Add them up. 3,400. This one is 900. So 3,400. 53, 54. Okay, ready? Let's add them up. One, oh, 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 thousand plus thousand plus fourteen hundred. Okay. That's those three. The desserts five hundred a piece, so a thousand. Okay, and nine hundred and eleven hundred. So that's another two thousand. Okay. Total is six thousand four hundred. Okay, six thousand four hundred. What's that about forty dollars? Okay, that should be good for me and Mega. Got my little change purse here with the uh, the cats and hamburgers, the cat hot dogs. Four hundred. Transaction complete. And away we go. <laughs> Being monitored right there, monitored right there, there. They've got cameras, but hey, all good. All right, let's roll. We are rolling and action. Hey, Mega, what's going on? Nothing much. Nothing much? You hungry? I'm starving. Starving. Starving is good because we've got a lot of interesting. Gourmet foods here from a vending machine's room. I'm going to call it a vending machine because you put the money into a box. That kind of makes it a vending machine, right? If there's no person, yeah. no, no cashier, no cash register, right? Kind of feels like a vending machine. Should we start with drinks? Okay. This is the Cherry Blossom Draft Beer by Suntory. Look at that, cherry blossom season. Gorgeous, huh? The cherry blossoms are not quite here yet. I got the milk, as always. As always. <laughs> Let's pour them. Oh, yeah. Still pretty cold in Japan. We've got rain at the moment. Might still have some snow in the area here in the next week, maybe. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, that hits the spot. I'm coming from a 90 minute hot yoga class, so I feel pumped, energized. How about you? Where are you coming from? From a hot, hot spring. Hot spring. Yeah, relaxation or what? Working. Working. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's your job. Okay, let's go to some of this stuff. Where are we going to start with the food here? The salad. This is a gorgeous looking salad. The salads keep getting better and better around here. This is not from the vending machine room, this is from our chef. So, made in house here. I like the, the half egg is a nice touch. Yeah. Right? We've got a couple different types of lettuce, which is good. All right? And we've got the dressing. The dressing is different every time here. This one looks Italian vinegar. I'm going to just put some dressing on this side here. This is the side I'm going to eat. Oh, it smells good. It smells like ume, like plum. Yeah. Doesn't it? Okay. Ready? Bust open the chopsticks. Oh, and guess what happened? <laughs> A toothpick popped out. Sometimes when you open up chopsticks that are in a pack, they have a toothpick for later on. Not always, but sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Where are you starting? Leafy greens? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's awesome. A lot of avocado in here, too. 
You're not an avocado eater. I don't see any. Did you get some? A little bit. We've got bacon bits on top. Cherry tomatoes. The egg. Oh, it's a good salad. Sliced ham. And what are these? Like bacon bits on top? Onions? It's fried onions. Fried onions. Fried onions. There you go. We've got two types of beef tongue, but in the end, it got all mixed together. There's a shio or salt, okay, and then there's a sauce one, right, or tare. Right. And this is, they, it came in 100 gram packages, so two 100 gram packages. So we've got 200 grams of meat here. And let's see if we can tell the difference between the salt and the sauce. My first piece is definitely salt. Me too. Mm hmm. Oh, it's good. And it's so good. It's good. Right? It's meaty, it's, it's tender for tongue, right? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. More salt. <laughs> That's great. These pieces are just about right, aren't they? Yeah. The right thickness, the right size. Well, that's the trick with tongue. If you slice it too thick, you're going to be chewing it for a long time. <laughs> right? I've had that experience before. I don't think I got a sauce one. Another sauce one. I can't tell the difference. I can't even tell the difference. <laughs> you might have got all salt. But we shouldn't have mixed them when we put them in the fry pan. Oh well. Beef tongue is just... It's 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 delicious, isn't it? It is. I didn't used to like it, but your choice, Mega. Let's do the ramen. Ramen. Get it while it's hot. The vending machine's room had probably ten types of ramen. It was like two coolers full of you know ramen, different types. And I chose this one because of the thick pork. So hopefully I picked a good one. I mean, look at how thick that is. And it should just fall apart, right? Yeah. Which is what you want. You want it to be really tender. Look at all the fat right there. Oh my gosh. And then this, God, almost like udon looking noodles, huh? Look at how thick, thick those are. All right, ready? What are you going to start with? I'm going to start with the soup. A mouthful of like meat fat. <laughs> it's really thick. It tastes like tongos ramen. It does kind of. Okay, so the pork broth. Mmm. I like these noodles. Yeah. Kind of remind me of like pasta. I like how they're not straight. Like curly noodles. Nice texture, right? Yeah. Mmm. Good. Nice flavor. I like that a lot. Yeah. And they're pretty thick noodles. Okay, have you had any of the pork yet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm juicy. Mm. A bit on the tough side. <laughs> oh my god. The beef tongue was way softer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's like stew style, right? Yeah. It's a pretty bomb bowl of ramen. Right? The price for this is a thousand yen. That's like seven dollars, and you can easily split this, right? Yeah. It's a lot of volume. Okay, and when you eat ramen, typically the gyoza dumplings goes with it as a side order. And gyoza, these are prepared in the fry pan, so you get that crispiness on the bottom. Have we shown you the shoyu lately? We have not. And get some, is that ryu? Ryu, yeah. yeah. Ryu, so spicy chili oil. There's our shoyu. We're showing you the shoyu. And vinegar. Okay. Three items to our mixture. I need more show you, I think. Show you should be the main ingredient. If it was the only ingredient, it would work. Right? But yeah. 
Having all three makes it kind of nice. Okay, going in. Dip it. Oh. oh it's garlicky. Isn't it? What is that? <laughs> Instant garlic. Spice. Oh my gosh. This will put chair this will put chair on your chest. Chair? Hair <laughs> on your chest. God, oh, it's so powerful. It might put chair on your chest. Oh my god. Nice and crunchy. Mmm. The skin is good, isn't it? Yeah. Cook just right. But, oh. I mean, I don't think kids would like these. Right? <clears throat> Definitely yeah. some powerful spice going on here. Oh, these are fabulous. The minced pork on the inside. Okay, Megan, moving on. We got to get this out of the way, the harm on this. <laughs> it's beef innards somewhere around in here. But this is mango flavored. That's what drew me to it. So, can you, does it smell like mango? A little bit. It does smell sweet. Okay. It's cooked, so just, rare. it's cooked just right. So what, weird? Rare. Rare. Well, I don't know, you can see it's browned right there. Too. That one's more well done. Or it's rare that, to have the beef innards, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, for us, yeah. But it's available in Japan. If you go to restaurants, you can get it. Okay, ready? Oh, <laughs> shoot <Julia. laughs> oh. Well, I taste the mango flavor. Just a little bit. It's so chewy. But, I mean, right? Hormone beef innards are, they're, they're a big deal in Japan. If you go to like a yakiniku style of barbecue place in Japan, this will be on the menu. Right? Yeah. You all see the signs. Hormone, hormone. It's a delicacy here. Well, that second piece is better. You just have to learn how to appreciate a chewy texture in Japan. Because it will uh, it comes out to get you <laughs> if you don't appreciate it. you got to kind of savor it. So, I didn't used to be able to eat it at all, but now I can get through it. Yeah, without gagging. I have a, like a positive or neutral feeling about it when I eat it. If you go into something eating it saying, oh, this is going to be horrible, then you're probably going to have a horrible experience. Right? Yeah. You got to go in kind of neutral, and then at the end you say, hey, it wasn't that bad. And then the next time maybe you can tolerate a little bit more. And then finally you wind up enjoying the different textures and bizarre meats that you can get in Japan. Okay? And speaking of bizarre meats, we got a hamburger right here in a bowl. But the hamburger in Japan typically does not come served with a bun. It's just the patty. The patty and then a gravy, right? So you're eating it as a patty only. That's the, the way you eat hamburger in most family restaurants. Wouldn't you say? That's the preferred way to eat hamburger in Japan. There's no bun. Yeah. Of course, there are hamburger joints where you can get a hamburger with a bun, but this is the way. So. It's in a soup curry. And it's in a soup curry. Thanks for <laughs> reminding me. Does it smell like... It smells like curry, doesn't it? Yeah. Sometimes hamburger tastes like beef. In Japan, like ground beef, sometimes it tastes more like vegetable to me. It's always different. You never know. Okay, going in. It smells amazing. Hmm. Curry soup. The patty, what do you think of the, the meat? It's very mild, the taste. Hmm. Yeah, it's very mild compared to the the mango hormone beef that we just ate. But I like it. It goes good with the curry soup. Mm-hmm. 
good flavor. The meat, uh, it's decent. Yeah. <clears throat> Filling. But yeah, like he says, it's just very mild. Well, I think it's time for dessert, Mega. So we got two desserts. This one's the Imo Mochi. Sweet potato and pounded rice together. You get three of them in a pack. This is what it looks like. It's very soft. It's covered with kinako. Kinako, okay, I like the sweet soybean. And the inside, emo, sweet potato. It's like uncle. Yeah. It's like sweet bean paste, not potato. That does not look like sweet potato to me. No. Or does it taste like sweet potato? It's uncle sweet bean paste. It's good though. And I like the kinako, the powdered, sweet powdered soybean on the outside. It's good. Served chilled. Well, it's good. I just don't know where the sweet potato is. Sweet potatoes generally, it's either purple or yellow. Well, this is definitely like black, like the beans. Okay, dessert number two. This is by Cold Stone. This is the first time I've seen this in Japan. Strawberry, what does that say? Pinky cake? Pinky cake. Strawberry pinky cake. <laughs> okay. Fresh strawberries on top. You like strawberries, your favorite flavor of ice cream, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I can smell the strawberries from here. Ooh, fresh strawberry. Here's his close-up number two. Oh, my goodness. All right, get in there. So strawberries on the top, and then there's cream, and then the cake's on the bottom. And there's some... What is that on top? Some kind of a jelly or jam, a jam maybe. Okay, so you got the different layers in each. That looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, different layers in every bite. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I like a strawberry mousse on the bottom. How much did you get of that on the bottom? That's None. The, the strawberry mousse. Yeah, get, get down to the bottom. No, that's the ice cream. The cream tastes like a mousse, doesn't it? The cream is yeah. really thick. Mmm. It's a really rich dessert. This is banging. <laughs> I haven't had a dessert this good in a while. Oh, I mean, those strawberries are so tart. Yeah. Right? A lot of flavors going on. Oh, it's tasty. It's mega. It's mega! Hey, hey! Coin a phrase, it's mega. So, that is gonna do it for this one. Did we clear everything here? I think we did. Yeah. We did it in one go yeah. without a break. That's pretty good. So, I guess we were hungry. Yeah. All right, the yoga class, and how, how many hours did you work today at the hot spring? About seven hours. Seven hours, okay, that's why. Hungry, hungry boys here at the mealtime show this evening. So on the rating scale, we're gonna go one to six of your mega heads. I'm gonna go four. Four out of six, okay. And what did you like the best? The beef tongue. The beef tongue, I think I did too, the beef tongue. Even the hormone was pretty good. I'm really starting to warm up to the, the innards, you know, I guess that's part of being in Japan for so long and getting older. I can pretty much eat everything and not get sick. Isn't that weird? So I'm gonna go five out of six. Not quite a six. The dessert was a six. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, the dumplings didn't quite do it for me today. That is a little bit too garlicky. Ramen was good. Uh, but, you know, interesting concept, right? With the vending machine room or like unmanned, no staff room. And there seems to be more and more of them around. I've seen this one is, is in our neighborhood, so not, it wasn't very far to get to. It just cycled over there. And it's interesting because it's the honor system, 
right? It's like they have cameras in there, but I don't know if they're going to dispatch. I guess they'll, they call the cops if you rip them off. But I think in Japan, it's being is that there's more of them popping up here and there. I think people do stay honest. And uh, so it works as a business. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I can find some more of them. We'll see. But we want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Eric and Mega, out of here. But we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. Out of here. We got to get out of the frame.